This is Gary Atensi with CNTV, and today we're in Lakewood, Colorado. I am here with Superior Industries. Since 1980, this Colorado company has proven they make real promises and always keep them in the home improvement industry for thousands of customers. I am here with Mike, who is the president, um, owner. Mike, let's begin a little bit about your journey, if you will. You began a company back in the 80s, yet we can pretty much trace the... The, the DNA roots of what made this company possible to a journey back in 1936 uh, by a man who came here um, really with, with a, a simple idea, quality work, hard work, and most importantly, being proud of your work. Share with me a little bit of how this got started for you. Well, my father was born in Poland and came to America when he was in his early 20s and worked hard and was able to develop a responsibility in providing what, doing what he says he's going to do. Uh, I worked with him in the home improvement industry as a kid and gradually went off on my own as my brother did as well. Uh, Dad's been gone for several years and um, uh, just developed a successful business in the same field, although it has changed greatly throughout the years. I imagine it has. I mean, honestly, we live in, an, in a world anymore where um, companies are out there marketing themselves as being the best, but not actually doing the best. Um, we were living in a time where basically people um, do not say what they're going to do. They don't do what they're going to say. Um, is this what you find pretty much in every industry? But why is it even more so important possibly in, in the um, home improvement industry? Well, we're dealing with uh, the public in a personal level on their largest investment that they uh, have ever had. And therefore, they want the work to be done properly and they want quality products. Uh, I've involved my uh, kids who are now in their late 40s, uh, but it helps us to be able to provide a quality experience for our customers. Anymore, it seems like companies are, I mean, they're even afraid to make promises, much less keep those promises. Why has it been important for you to actually be very specific and upfront about what your company provides? It just makes life a lot easier. <laughs> I'm able to uh, uh, not be worried about what anybody has said or done. And if we do make a mistake, we're there to correct it. Excellent. Um, your promises reflect that you not only value people's money, but you actually value their time as well. So if um, deadlines are not being met or appointments need rescheduled, um, is it important that you basically communicate this um, to the person throughout the project? Well, one of the important factors for me has been uh, that I answer all phone calls. Uh, we show up on time. We basically do what we say we're going to do. Um, that becomes a, a, a critical factor, I think, with the people that do business with us. They know they can always reach us, and we attempt to communicate. Excellent. Um, also, you definitely promised the fact that there's not going to be any surprises down the road. Um, what was agreed upon during the consultation is pretty much what's going to reflect on the final invoice. And if there is a chain that come along, like you say, you pretty much communicate that. And do people appreciate that? I mean, nobody likes surprises on the back end. Well, the communication is really important. Um, and our best guarantee is nobody gets paid anything until the work's completed and it's been done the way we said it would get done. You've been in business long enough, I would imagine, that you could probably share some nightmare scenarios of what happens out there in the, in the industry. Obviously, things you don't want to do or put your clients through. Um, I imagine accountable, when things don't go right, is that something that pretty much you, you've taught through the years? Well, I think dealing in the quality of the products is important. Um, we have stayed away from a lot of the builder grade products uh, because they present problems down the road. We found that staying with high quality uh, products, whether it's windows, siding, or our cool fin um, products, they're top of the line and they don't always have to be the most expensive either. So it, we also make it uh, affordable through some private investor terms, et cetera. 
Excellent. Let's let's talk a little bit about some of those services in detail. Um, I imagine one of the greatest facelifts a person can give to the outside of their home is um, new siding. Um, why do you think that continues to be a, a popular choice? Well, years ago, we were the Alcoa distributorship, owned that distributorship here in Denver. And um, it's become a real important factor for folks that are having to deal with a lot of the builder grade products with press board sidings, et cetera. Uh, we deal with not only a quality siding material, but also able to insulate the walls, do all the trim work, uh, so that it really increases the value of the home and uh, makes it a lot more efficient. People are looking really, when it comes to siding and that investment, they're looking for uh, long-term or even lifelong solutions. Why is it important that you feel people are educated on the front end uh, before they go out there and start buying siding? Well, I think the education is important. Um, that's why we attempt to spend some time really discussing the product and their needs, asking the questions that are necessary to be able to provide them what they're really looking for. And many times they're uninformed. Uh, it just takes a little bit of extra time to be able to show what the possibilities can be. When people are misinformed, I find that they consumers, they, they're really just um, shopping by price tag. Why can that be kind of dangerous when it comes to siding? Many times they think they're probably saving money on the front end, but in the long term, um, maybe not. Well, that's where we really uh, appreciate the word value, because I think the value for what you're getting is really what you're looking for. Uh, just because it's a cheap price doesn't mean that it's the best value. And because it's the most expensive price doesn't mean it's the best value. So trying to coordinate all of that into to one uh, project is really important so they get what they really want. We live in Colorado. The climate here changes very quickly. We can hit 100 degrees here. Uh, as soon as winter hits, drops down to zero. Why is energy efficiency important when people are picking their siding? Well, everybody wants their home to be efficient. Uh, that's why we install a three-quarter inch uh, high-density expanded polystyrene material before uh, the siding is even installed. We seal around doors, windows, et cetera. So it helps with air infiltration, insulates the walls, and creates an environment that's not only good looking, but saving them money at the same time. The company basically says sometimes you're putting siding on that will really outlive all of us or the people in the house. Um, is it important to look for um, products that basically have a warranty when it comes to siding? Is that something uh, you provide as well? Absolutely. The warranty for the materials and the labor is very important. Uh, all of our products carry a lifetime labor and material guarantee, and uh, it covers almost anything within reason that uh, you can imagine could happen with a home. Currently, we're involved with uh, dealing with a lot of the hail complaints and uh, dealing with insurance companies and seeing other contractors that are out in the field and they're not always looking for replacement with the highest quality products. So we've got energy efficient siding on the house. Uh, basically, the only place left that um, the heat or the cold can get in is through the windows. Um, share with me why uh, you ventured into the window aspect in your company. Well, the windows in a house are really what's going to make a difference in the feel. Uh, we specialize in a security replacement window with virtually bulletproof glass, and not every home needs that, but it provides energy efficiency, almost equivalent to the uh, insulating value of the walls, which is super important. Uh, it's a window that uh, is being backed up by major corporations uh, and manufacturers, and comes in all kinds of different styles. The other thing that's different is they're all custom made to fit the opening exact, so we're not having to rebuild their walls and do what I call wall surgery in order to make the installation work properly. My two sons install the windows, and they make it a pretty easy operation uh, once we're ready to, to start a, a project. 
interesting. When I think of windows, I only think of looking out and seeing the beauty. Um, I don't even think about people being able to see in or even much more importantly, get in. Is security something people probably don't even think about on the front end? And this is what you educate them with. Well, security and windows don't normally go together. But uh, we found that providing a triple pane laminated glass product will uh, eliminate someone being able to get into the house instead of just finding out somebody's already into your home. Uh, it's led us into some other areas where we're doing uh, work for uh, a synagogue, we're doing work for uh, police departments uh, to provide them really uh, bulletproof security. Uh, that's not necessary in most homes, but the uh, advantages of having a triple pane laminated glass window uh, makes the difference between uh, like a single pane window and a double pane window. There's no comparison. Absolutely. Not only for energy efficiency, but also for security, like you say. I mean, as much as, as we're a cold climate or a hot climate, I mean, over years, it's almost like the the money you save of uh, heat going out or AC going out um, almost pays for your windows. <laughs> it does pay for your windows. Plus, if you ever sell the house, you're going to get every bit of your money back out of it. People can relate to a window that has a lifetime guarantee, including glass breakage and uh, a product that really makes a huge difference in their uh, the feel of their house and also the the uh, public service bills or the IREA or uh, whatever it might be. Excellent. Viewers, take a look at the bottom of the screen right there. What you're going to see is their website. On the website, first of all, take a look at this story. This is a company that began back in the 1980s, but it was years before that, uh, when basically the gentleman here will learn from his father um, working as a teenager um, how important quality work is, hard work, and really being proud of, uh, of your work as well. Created a, a fantastic company that has stood the test of time. Also, take a look, um, check out the reviews online. They're not afraid to show you their Better Business Bureau um, report there and many, many resources, links that can help you educate yourself when you're out there looking for siding or windows as well. Um, I mean, really with the siding and the windows, you, um, you're in a business that really transforms the outside of a house. I mean, uh, one great way to get curb appeal uh, that is something you've added is the decorative concrete. Um, is that something that um, you continue doing? Unfortunately, we have uh, shied away from doing the concrete work. I just cannot depend on the labor that's out there to be able to perform the projects that uh, we've done in the past. But we have taken on a new line called Quiet Cool. And it's a, uh, a whole house fan that fits up in the attic that's very reasonable, takes the place of air conditioning or helps to eliminate the air conditioning running so much. And it's a, it's a product that is being uh, utilized in the California areas almost exclusively uh, for new home uh, building where they've made it a, a requirement with uh, the new home builders. Uh, here in Colorado, we've become a dealer for it and uh, getting tremendous response uh, to have a, a means of cooling the house uh, with a, a very, very quiet fan that's uh, as efficient as having a hundred window fans in, in, the, in the house. So it's a pretty neat product. That is amazing. Your father built a business basically on doing what you're going to say, keeping promises, and basically providing great work for people. Do you think people, consumers that you've dealt with, do you think they know the difference? Do you think they can see the difference? Well, I think they, it's proven by the referrals that we get. So much of our business is based on referrals, and people respect the fact that they got what they uh, thought they were going to get, and if there was a problem, we were there to correct it and take care of it. The company now has been around for uh, many, many years, serving people in uh, Lakewood and the surrounding areas. Did your father live long enough to actually see his legacy live on? Oh, yeah. Dad and I worked together uh, with my brother and myself and 
uh, in the, the business together, as well as some uh, real estate investments that we all had. Uh, as he got older and uh, before he passed on, we kind of went our independent ways to be able to uh, structure our lives the way that we each needed to. Excellent. It's great to see the multi-generations like that in a family-owned and operated company. Viewers, last time, take a look at the bottom of the screen right there. Once again, you're going to see their contact information. This is a company that began back in the 1980s, um, serving folks all in the areas here. We're talking about siding windows and obviously the quiet cool is something they've started um, um, offering out there to the public as well um, once again that is the superior industries our word is our bond and we always keep our promises this is gary attensa with cntv and if you don't know now you know